Inside Hilltopper Athletics is brought to you by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. All right, welcome to Inside Hilltopper Athletics Wrestling Edition. I'm Jacob Davey, joined by head wrestling coach Danny Oren. Coach, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, excited to be on and uh, obviously a big weekend ahead of us. Yeah, it seems like just a little bit ago you were here with Coach Allen previewing the season opener. So has this season kind of flown by you? Yeah, I mean, in some ways it's, it's flown by, but at the same time we, we look at things in segments, and, you know, I think we've handled the different segments of our season uh, at a really high level and just proud of what we've done thus far. And Obviously, we, I think we've got some uh, exciting things on the, on the horizon here. Yeah, so some big team events uh, early in the season, duels, and uh, went to national duels, ranked fourth in the country as a team. Um, just talk about your team's dual performance this year. Yeah, I mean, we've had some really exciting duels. Obviously, uh, at the top of the list is our two duels we had with Lander. We hit them there down at their place in the beginning of December, and then you know, that one came down to the, the, the final match, and Borsalino got it done there. And then, you know, uh, national duels looked a little bit differently. You know, we were missing one of our, uh, you know, better guys in, in Ty McGeary, and uh, we had some guys step up. You know, Kaivon Grace took the defending national champion to a 1-0 match. Uh, Drake Kendricks, who had been uh, beat up pretty good in the opening duel with Lander against that guy, uh, you know, was uh, lost a, a barn burner match. I think it was like 12 to 11. And, you know, those couple of performances, along with the other, other eight guys, allowed us uh, to get by Lander by criteria to advance to day two. And you know, so there's been some, some exciting duels like that. And, you know, Ashland and on down the line that, uh, you know, we've put a lot of different faces out there and each guy stepped up to the plate and, and, and done well for us. Yeah, you've wrestled about team-wise like eight or nine different ranked opponents. So just talk about that schedule and what you put yeah, together. Yeah, you know, big thing, you know, when you put the schedule together that our guys are going to be tested. Um, you know, at the end of the day, some guys maybe have been tested more than others. and But at the end of the day, that um, it's putting them and our program in position to, to, to have the test, to, to learn the lessons that we need to learn to, to put, us, put ourselves in position to chase down trophies and not only on the team side but on the individual side. And, you know, here we are staring some, some trophies in the face uh, here in these coming weeks. Yeah, going back to national duels, um, fourth place finish, uh, but just more than just the wrestling, what was like the experience like? It was your first time since you've been the head coach here going down there. Yeah, it was a long time coming, being back at national duels, exciting to be back in that atmosphere. Um, I think for our entire team to experience a, a national level event, I mean, just, you know, the people were right on top of you. The, the duels were extremely heated, you know, coaches, athletes, um, you know, fans even, just that, uh, you know, hey, um, you know, from our young guys to our old guys, that uh, rather than uh, not seeing kind of that kind of atmosphere till the postseason, to get to see it in the middle of the year, I think uh, it was not only good, uh, you know, for our older guys to be reminded what it's like, but then, you know, for our new guys that uh, you know, are going to feel some more of that fire coming up, that uh, they've, they've been in that atmosphere and, and felt that kind of energy and were able to, to look to execute their, their positions and uh, you know, have some of the outcomes that they wanted to have. So. Yeah, so um, looking into the future, more like individual events coming up now. So what's the biggest difference um, going forward? Well, I think, uh, you know, at this time of the year, just we, we have a lot of different things dialed in. You know, I think with our guys that, uh, you know, hey, who, who's a couple coaches they want to see in their corner or, or, you know, even just then of, you know, I can't coach every single match and, you know, for our coaching staff to have that, that communication build up throughout the course of the year, that trust build up that, uh, you know, our the right coaches are with the right guys and um, that's going to part like because, you know, we expect uh, to have 10 guys wrestling at the national tournament. That's been the expectation and we're looking to execute that. And, you know, with having 10 guys there, that's going to be a, a lot of moving parts and uh, each one of our coaches are, and know what each and every single guy needs so that they can go out there and perform their best. And at the end of the day, when those individuals are going out there performing at their best, you know, the team score is going to, going to take care of itself. And so I think that's one major part. And then, you know, with our guys, too, that, you know, our training volume's been way up. And, you know, now we're, uh, now we're kind of staring down the end where, you know, the, the intensity is going to stay up, but the, the volume's going to start coming down. And, you know, but I, I like what we've done with where our volume's been at and our intensity's at. And um, the guys have really uh, – Showing a lot of heart and grit through through some of those times. He talked about everyone pretty much contributing throughout the year. He even got to send some younger guys out to, um, you know, like one-off tournament weekends, stuff like that. So, just what surprised you so far? And well, I, I want to say a, a ton surprised me. Uh, you know, the way our guys bring the the energy each and every day. They're excited to come in and train. They're excited to come in and compete. And they take these guys that hey, they they want to go compete. You know, they want to go get matches in. And you know, one of our uh, 
know, our goals on the on the year and part of our mission is just to keep developing everybody. If you're in, you're in, and if you're in, you're competing and uh, to see these guys go compete and some of our young guys like you know Dylan Stroud and and Parker Bentley and you know uh, you know Matt Engelhart's came a long ways and just you know there's a, there's a ton of guys that uh, have just um, impressed us time and time again and you know the, to have them in those individual moments to try to execute in those semifinals those finals type matches that uh, um, you know it's it's not only helps us with where we're at now but it's going to really help us where where we want to be maybe at this time next year then too. This weekend, MEC uh, championships coming to the ASRC, um, going for another team title victory. Uh, just talk about that first. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, anytime you can compete for for trophies, compete for T-shirts, uh, things things like that. That uh, you know, right? Who, who doesn't get excited about about little things like that? But uh, you know, for for us, you know, I think a big thing is hey, we're gonna have uh, you know our our ten best guys out there per se uh, for the first time in, in a long time. You know, I think since. Uh, middle of middle of December and so you know I think you know you know crowd and fans and just our alumni are going to be excited about the you know the way our 10 guys are going to compete you know here this weekend at the MECs and just something that you know I think we're going to put our best foot forward and right now is the time to start putting that best foot forward as we come down down the stretch but yeah we have 10 very capable guys I think are all seated in the in the top three and you know we expect them to go out there and be competing on that that final mat when it's just the championship matches going on five of the ten you got nationally ranked um you want to touch on those five yeah you know those those five are uh you know they've they've had a, a really good season thus far and and as good as seasons they they have had um you know i think they're they're on the mark of where they they want to be at um you know like a guy like jamar williams he's He's had a really good year. Um, at the same time, yeah, he's in a really good spot, you know, from a health perspective. Um, something that's been really key for him. And you know, um, you know, Ty McGeary, you know, he was a guy that he's been out. You know, I think uh, it's going to be exciting to see him back on on the mat. And um, you know, he's, you know, maybe uh, maybe him being out is not a good thing for the rest of the country because he's as as hungry as I'll get out to be back on the mat. But um, you know, those five guys have, have done a ton. You know, Cole Leos, you know, coming around. You know, he's uh, he's hit a number of some really good guys throughout the course of the year, and um, you know, that's gonna gonna help him coming down the stretch. And as he continues to, to dial it in, and um, Borsellino, he's gonna hit a hit another really good guy again here this weekend that he just wrestled. And um, you know, so all five's been tested, and ultimately, I'm really looking for the the next five. You know, something that uh, you know, for us to reach the goals that we have. Um, Couple of those guys, you know, it's time for them to to break through, and you know, we made some adjustments here recently to, to really try to help help push um, them through that that barrier, so that uh, you know, they're they're hunting down that podium, you know, in, in March. Yeah, we talked in the season preview about kicking the door down. So is that still the mentality? Yeah, it's still the mentality that uh, you know. Again, you know, I mentioned earlier having ten, and uh, but not only having ten, but you know, not guys looking to qualify, you know, guys looking to be at the top of the podium and, and doing those little things right. And, you know, you know, I think a strong reminder this week that the little things have gotten us this far and, um, the, you know, we can't overlook those little things and start peeking around the corner. Like we got to take care of business this weekend. You know, we have some really good teams, some really good individuals that are going to be stepping in front of us. And, um, you know, that kind of effort this weekend is going to gonna really move the needle for, for where we're going to be at regionals and, and two weeks after that. Yeah, you touched, um, on the first five, Nationally ranked guys, you want to um, mention for the viewers the next five you have yeah. in the lineup? Yeah, I think uh, you know fans are you know been really getting excited about Kyvon Grace at 141. You know, he's really starting to come into his own, and uh, you know he's somebody that was probably you know somewhat unheralded coming out of high school in, in some ways, but and just a, a ton of different people saying, hey, like he he could be a guy, he could be a guy, and you know, he's shown that time and time again this year, and uh, you know so we we expect big things out of him. He expects big things out of himself. Jacob Simpson's been a guy that's been in the mix ever since day one. He you know, had some huge wins his mm -hmm. freshman year uh, in the Hilltopper singlet. You know when he got cast into the starting lineup to, to where he's at now. That uh, you know, he stays on the attack. Um, he's going to be uh, be a dangerous guy to, to deal with. And you know obviously Alec Cook and, and Chase Morgan. Chase Morgan's been there and done that in some ways. Um, but at the same time, you know he, him and Alec are both. Uh, you know they're not satisfied with how their year's been from a, a record standpoint but same time we're you know we're very uh excited about what they've done and i think guys are just you know those four guys right there just 
or on the doorstep. You know? mm-hmm. And then Drake Kendricks at 197, he's had some some big moments. He's had some moments I wish he, you know, probably wishes he had back a little bit. But uh, ultimately, uh, you know, those five with the, the, the five guys that are, are nationally ranked uh, makes for a pretty fierce 10, especially with the group of guys that uh, – are going, you know, into those 10 and, and pushing, pushing them to higher levels. And then uh, MEC championships in the ASRC. It's been the past couple of years here. Just what's the atmosphere like and what's the advantage of wrestling on the home mats? Well, I think, uh, you know, the, the advantage for everybody is just what, what an environment. You know, I think our staff, um, you know, here on the hilltop, you know, they're, they're second to none. You know, they no detail undone and just something that, you know, between our staff, the venue, you can't beat the venue and, you know, then you add in the Mountain East Conference, looking to, to make it an exciting uh, event for everybody that, uh, you know, makes for a, a championship-level atmosphere that is going to serve not only our program well, but, you know, the rest of the teams in the field really well when it comes to that next big moment, which, you know, for most teams is going to be the their Super Regional, whether it's, uh, you know, Super Regional, I think, three, or I think everybody else is, you know, the other couple teams are in Super Region number one. So I think having that kind of atmosphere yeah. helps set the tone for that. All right, Coach, well. Thanks for taking the time to join us ahead of the big weekend, and good luck to the Hilltoppers. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to everybody uh, being here uh, for it and uh, climb the hill. Yep. Uh, MEC Wrestling Championships in the ASRC Saturday starting at 10 a.m., right, Coach? 10 a.m., yeah. Finals should kick off around you know, probably 3, 30, 4 o'clock. Yep, you can find all the live coverage on hilltoppersports.com. Until then, uh, good luck to Coach Irwin and the 10 Hilltoppers competing. That's it for uh, Inside Hilltopper Athletics Wrestling. Disasters happen. Pick the team that takes care of them all. Powered by offices in Wheeling, Morgantown, and Pittsburgh, Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration is ready to handle any size emergency at a moment's notice. We have the right people, knowledge, and equipment to respond 24 hours a day. I'm Danny Irwin. When disaster strikes your home or business, tell your insurance provider you prefer the restoration company the Hilltoppers call, Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration.